Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we begin to bless the name of the Lord this evening? Can we worship him? Can we exalt him? Can we thank him for what he is doing? Can we thank him for his for another day in his presence? Let's give him all the praise. Let's give him all the thanks. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy of, our, of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of all adoration. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. We give you glory. We give you adoration. We exalt your name. 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 You are worthy. 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 You are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy of all the glory. Lord, we exalt you. 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 Thank you for another time in your presence. Thank you, Lord God, for the enablement to sit at your feet again. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. 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 Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we thank you. Glory, glory, glory be to you. For in Jesus' most precious name, we've prayed. Amen. Tonight, can we just begin to pray in the spirit as we edify ourselves and build up ourselves on our most holy faith? Cambro Shetila Prago Zekele Brago Zekila Bradazo Ketila Bradados Elembro Cozoto Zekile Bragade Zekule Bragado Zegede Golo Gozoto Zepe Libra Nuzega de Bolo Gozocoto Mali Braco Zetele Brago Zika Tale Brogo Zoto Zekede Elege de Golo Zocore Begali Bregado Zegida Alembro Gozoto Zekila Bregado Zegile Bragada El Gedege de Gologo Zokede, El Regadale Brogozoto Zeketila Bragaduro Gozoto Zogodo, Monzo Tozipa Libra Gozoto Zakata, Eleke Zotolo Goria Balibra Gozoto Zatali Bragado Zokozoto, Elege Dorogo Zoto 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 Zoto, Marika Zutu Zatale Bregedo Zekili Bragada, Ebra Kozoto Baria Beligre Gozutu Zagada, Eragadele Gorodo Zokoro Dozuzu Katae, Gori Mateli Brago Zoto Zekete, Regedele Gorogozo to Zekete Libra Gadade, Eregedele Gorogozo to Zoko Zoto Zoto, Marima to Rodo Gozutu Zataba, Eregedule Bregadolo Gorogozoto, Maregede Gede Gede Gedo Rogozo to Zagada, Eranunzi Hale, Ebregedele Gerogozuzu Gadaya, Ela Brogozo to Zoto Zebelege de Regede, Embranunga Hile Brago Zoto. Zotolo, zotolo, e prago zotolo, gologo rebele bele bele. Oh, rabali brago zotolo, zotolo, zotolo. Edify yourself, edify yourself. Regedolo gorogo zotolo, zotolo, zotolo. Me regedo ruga de libra gede gubra bai. E regedele ge regedo gudo gudo. Manco Rodozo Brehine Branandu Zekete E Regedele Gede Gede Gorogo Zoto Mambreke Zoto Paria Beli Preko Zoto Regedele Gorogo Dolo Goregede Gede 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 E Ramolo Zoto Zipa Le Bragu Zekete Ngolodo Le Beli Preko Dahila Embra No Zoto Zoto Re Bahili Membreko Do Re Bele 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 Mambreko Do 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 Bele De Bele De E Braga Dali Brogo Zoto 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 Membre Que os outros atavam ali para que dê, golo de bele que dê, de bele que dê, de bele que dê, mam bele de bele de bele de bele de bele de, requetele por o golo de bele que dê, de bele que dê, de, riba bala barre que dê, de bele que dê, de bele que dê, de, golo de bele de bele de bele de, marre bele golo do golo de bele de bele de bele de, riba bala barre que dê, de bele que dê, de, o rogo zoto 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 zoto, raba bele que dê, o rogo zoto para que dê, o rogo dia, e ramali o rogo zoto zé que dê, e requeto ro Do so kore balagale kede e ragadolo goro 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 kede goro de bele de bele de bele kede man proko zoto 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 repete le goro goro zoto for in Jesus name we pray, Amen, Amen. Glory to God, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah, praise God, praise God, praise God. Okay, tonight. We are going to be looking into God's Word. Um, it's a Bible study, and um, 
we are going to be the title of today's message is going to be edify yourself edify yourself we are going to be reading from first corinthians chapter 14 from verse 2 to verse 4 then we will we'll read some verses of scripture before we begin to before i begin to teach this evening the Bible says, For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. It says, For no man understandeth him, how be it in the spirit, he speaketh mysteries. Verse 3, it says, For he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. Verse 4, it says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. But he that prophesied edified the church. Tonight, the title of this message is Edify Yourself. Edify Yourself. We are going to be quickly looking at Mark chapter 16, verse 17. Mark chapter 16, verse 17. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. It says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They, those that believe, shall speak with new tongues. Then very quickly as well, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18 to 19. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18 to 19. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Now, it says in verse 19, Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay, tonight, I guess some people are looking at, ah, is this not so much of a basic 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 message we all as charismatics as pentecostals we all pray in tongues we all edify ourselves but tonight i'm not um, coming with an argument i'm coming with a challenge and an a reawakening for us to do what to be deliberate about edifying ourselves we are in the 10th month of the year and the year is already counting down days a lot of people are already downcasted, a lot of people are discouraged, a lot of people have been disappointed. But my challenge to you, or my word of encouragement to you this evening, is to edify yourself. Is to what? Edify yourselves. The first thing I'd like to say this evening is that the Holy Spirit's involvement with you and your involvement with the Holy Spirit is a product of God's willingness. God's want, God wants you edified much more than you want to be edified yourself. God is willing for your spirit to be built up much more than you feel, much more than you want your spirit to be built up. The Bible says, I will pray you the Father and he will give you the Comforter. It was first of all Jesus that said he will pray us the Father. It was the will of him to give us a comforter which we could communicate with. Then the Bible now also speaking in Matthew chapter 9 now says, Pray ye the Lord of the harvest that ye send forth laborers into the harvest field. So first Jesus is saying that he will pray the Father. Then next is saying that we should pray to the Lord of the harvest which is the Father himself. So Jesus, I mean, the will of God is for us to have involvement with the Holy Spirit and for the Holy Spirit himself to be involved with us. So the Holy Spirit wants to be involved with us much more than we want to be involved with him. So tonight, I want us to have the challenge that whatever you are going through, however it looks like in your life, however it looks like in your family, however it looks like in your situation, I want you to know that you have a way out, which is to what? To edify yourself. Praise God. Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 says, And the earth was without form and void. Now, I'm looking at a means of edification here. 
The Bible says, and the earth was without form and void. The Bible says, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now look at it. It says, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Now I want us to look at some reasons why we we'll need to edify ourselves. The first reasons here I want us to see is that God wants to be edified so that signs can follow us. God wants us to be edified so that signs can, can follow us. The Bible says in Mark 16, verse, Mark 16, verse 17, it says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. Those who believe. God wants signs to follow those who believe. Signs, signs, signs. You know, the Bible says, I and the children that the Lord has given to me, they are for signs and for wonders. So in the begin, in the later part of this year, signs and wonders is what is supposed to be established through you. And one of the things you have to do to that is to edify yourself speaking in tongues. Praying in the Holy Ghost, building yourself on your most holy faith, and you have to be doing it deliberately without any iota of, of regret or without any iota of shame. The Bible says that, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. Why? Because it is the power of God unto salvation. If you think you have been suffering, if you think you have been denied, if you think your time has been wasted from the beginning of the year up to now, and you feel that to be able to build up yourself on your most holy faith by praying in tongues or to edify yourself is going to be much more weight. Listen to me. What I want you to know is that you are not just wasting time. You are building up speed. You are praying for signs. Signs will follow those who speak in tongues. Signs will follow those who pray in the Holy Ghost. And for some of you to... For some of you tonight, you need for signs and wonders to follow you. So God wants you to edify yourself so that signs can follow. Signs can follow. Signs can follow. Hallelujah. Praise God. At new birth, you were positioned for motion. No, next point I want to say that why you have to be edified or why God wants you to be edified is that God wants to be wants you to be edified wants to edify yourself so that the spirit can move freely so that his spirit can move freely through you causing a continuous motion in your life God wants you to be edified so that his spirit can move freely in you causing continuous motion if you feel you are static, if you feel you are at a point where you are confused, if you feel you are, you are at a point where you are without direction, what you need to do to yourself tonight is to edify yourself. Build up yourself. Don't be discouraged. John chapter, six, John chapter 3, verse 6. The Bible says, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Now, verse 7. The Bible says, marvel not that I said, un said unto thee, ye must be born again. Verse 8. It says, the wind bloweth where it listed, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whence it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. God wants you to be able to move freely. God wants his spirit to be able to move freely in you, not to have any not to have, not to be hindered in whatsoever way. And one of the ways you can achieve this is when you edify yourself. When you edify yourself. You know the Bible says that there was the earth was without form. The earth was 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 void and the spirit of God moved. Moved moved so any place where there is where it seems as if not, something is not working or where it seems as if there is no freedom or where it seems as if there is there needs to be deliverance the first thing that needs to be introduced is the spirit of god the first thing that needs to be introduced is the spirit of god and one way you can introduce the spirit of god into that situation is to edify yourself the first law of Newton says that every object remains at rest or in continuous motion unless acted upon by an external force. I don't know what direction it seems your life is going, but what I want to tell you is that you can give a redirection to it by 
that that force is not even external he lives on your inside you can give a if it seems as if you are static if it seems as if nothing is working you can give another definition to it why just by doing something allowing the spirit to move through you by edifying yourself by edifying yourself for things to change direction there must be an introduction of an external force and for the believer the force is not external the force is in us what you just need to do is to activate it what you just need to do is to steer it up what john chapter 3 verse 6 was telling us was that at new birth as a believer you were positioned for motion you were positioned to be moving. You were positioned to be upgrading levels. You were positioned to be changing levels. So the Bible says that the wind bloweth where it listed, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but you cannot tell where it is coming from. So peradventure, the enemies think that they have hooked you to a wall. Peradventure, your bosses, your colleagues at work think that the deadline you cannot meet up with it. That target you are giving into, you have been botched into a corner. The Bible says that so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Why? Because as the mean, as the wind moves, you don't know the direction where it is where it is coming from. As you begin to edify yourself, where they feel that you have been boxed into a corner, where they feel that you have been stopped, where they feel that you cannot come out of again, the Bible just says, as the wind blows. But you cannot tell where it comes from or where it goes. The Bible says, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. So I'm trying to let you know that you cannot really, you can't afford to be discouraged. You can't afford to be boxed into a corner. You can't afford to, to just throw in the towel. You can't afford to give up. There is already an accommodation for you, which is to edify yourself so that something begins to come out, so that something new comes out. The Bible did not say that signs will stay with them or will hang around with them that believe. The Bible said that signs will follow. Signs will follow. And here, and John chapter 3 verse 8 already helps us to know that a believer is someone who is in motion. So the signs will continually follow the person that is in motion. Signs will continually follow the believer. The believer must continually put himself in the position where he must be edified. Where his spirit must be built up. Where his spirit must be activated, must be stirred up. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. So if you are going, if, 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 if there's going to be a following, if signs must follow you, you yourself must be in motion as well. And one of the best ways to get yourself in motion wherever you are stuck tonight is to edify yourself. And we're going to take our time to pray in the Holy Ghost tonight before, to this, to, before the service ends this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. God wants you to identify yourself so you are not static, so that you are not moving around in circles, so that you are not retrogressing. A lot of people are already retrogressing. It seems as if they are on the same spot, but how they, how they will know that they have retrogressed is the people who they left on that spot are no longer there, or the people who they thought were on that spot together have moved forward. The child who thinks that he is not moving backward but repeats class and his mate went to another class has retrogressed. So a lot of believers are in that position and one of the ways to get out of that position is to edify yourself. We have a natural arrangement. The Bible was speaking in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. He says, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess. You know, there are some problems that come upon a man that the best solution he has to himself is, let me just go to the club or go to the bar or go to the beer parlor and have some, some drinks. But the Bible now says that apart from having, having a solution like this, another solution you can get is to do what? Don't be drunk with wine. Be filled with the Spirit. 
be edified with the spirit the best way to not look to another circumstance or to look to another object if you are in a position where you are boxing to the corner is when you are edified when you are edified when your spirit is edified listen to me the influence of the spirit always makes a difference the influence of the spirit always makes a difference it made a difference in genesis chapter one the bible says the earth was without form and void and i'm repeating this tonight because i know someone is 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 in a position tonight where it seems as if nothing has worked where it seems as if everything was working and currently now you've come into the month of october you were in the month of september it just seems as if everything stood on a standstill january to august was fantastic or january to september 30 was fantastic but 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 all what i was expecting to start to happen in the month of october is look as if it's a standstill the influence of the spirit always makes a difference always makes a difference it always makes a difference the bible says the earth and i want someone to just because the bible says <laughs> so someone once says that god is always trying to get us back to genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. <laughs> that's what he has been the bible says in the beginning the god created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of god moved upon the face of the waters the god is continually trying to get us back to that place where it seems as if everything comes back to perfection in as much as seems as if everything was losing control everything was getting out of hands in as much as it seems as if nothing was working the bible says that the earth was without form there was no beauty to, to behold in that situation. There was no good to behold in that situation. The Bible says it was void. It was empty. There was nothing of value that could be found in it. But one thing that happened was the Spirit of God was introduced. The Spirit of God began to influence the situation. The Spirit of God began to change the condition. The Spirit of God began to brew upon that situation. Just as the Spirit of God is brewing upon a lot of people's cases tonight. Hallelujah. So, one thing that the influence of the Spirit does, and which it did, is that it always makes a difference. It made a difference in Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. It made a difference in Numbers chapter 11, verse 31. In Numbers chapter 11, verse 31, let's quickly go there. I'm trying to encourage. I know a lot of some issues tonight identify ourselves. The Bible says in Numbers 11, 31, it says, And there went forth a wind. Wind is one of the symbols of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, And there went forth a wind from the Lord, and brought quails from the sea, and let them fall by the camp. So, adventure someone's problem is, my rent is due. I don't have the money to pay my rent. For adventure, someone's problem is my school fees, I am behind payment. For adventure, someone's problem is I don't even have food to eat tonight. The Bible says, and there went forth a wind from the Lord. And he brought quails from the sea. So all of a sudden, supernatural provision came. All of a sudden, what it seems as if we didn't have yesterday, there was an abundance in less than 24 hours. Why? Because a wind went from the Lord. A wind went from the Lord. The Spirit of God was introduced into the matter. The Spirit of God was introduced into the matter and quails began to come from the sea. Quails began to come from the sea. Provision began to come, provision began to come from abroad, began to come from all, all, all nooks and crannies of the earth. Why? Because the Spirit of, the, of God was introduced so i don't know what your condition is tonight but i pray that as the spirit of god comes upon you afresh tonight or as you begin to edify yourself tonight provision will begin to come from far places in the name of jesus hallelujah the spirit of god always makes a difference another place that we can see that the spirit of god make it made a difference was in luke chapter 4 the Bible says, before now, nobody took note of Jesus. 
Luke chapter, in the book of Luke chapter 4, verse 18. The Bible says, Jesus, and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, verse 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue was fastened upon him. The moment that the, the moment there was a proclamation that the spirit of the Lord was upon me, and every of the signs that come with the spirit of God began to began to be spread abroad. The Bible says everyone in the synagogue, their eyes was fastened upon him. Then they, they began to ask themselves, ah, are we mistaken? Is this not the same person that used to be in our class? Is that not the same man that used to live on our streets? Is that not the same person that he was always struggling to feed himself, to feed his family, to feed his children, to pay his children's school fees? Is that not the people? Is that not the person? What what exactly was the difference? I tell you, the difference was the spirit of God that was introduced. The spirit of God that was introduced was what made the difference. The spirit of God that was introduced was what brought Jesus out of obscurity. Hallelujah. Praise God. Another place we see where the spirit of God made a difference was on the day of Pentecost. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 2, verse 1, it says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, there were, with, there were all with one accord in one place. The Bible says, And suddenly there came a sound of heaven as of a mighty rushing wind. There came a sound of heaven as of a mighty rushing wind. The Bible says, And it filled all the house where they were sitting. This was when the outpouring of the Holy Spirit came. Before now, all the, all the apostles were waiting for in the upper room was the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The moment it came, the Bible says it came as a mighty rushing wind. It could not be mistaken. When the Holy Spirit comes, that's why the Bible says, <coughs> so is everyone born of the Spirit. You don't know where the wind is coming from. But <laughs> you, it, it's the same, the same way you don't know where it's coming from. It's the same way you don't know the direction in which everyone that is one of the spirits is going to go. You think as if, it, it, it feels as if they are wasting their time going to, it feels as if they are wasting their time. It seems as if they are wasting their time. Coming. But the Bible says, when the day of Pentecost was fully gone, it came as a mighty rushing wind. And the Bible says it filled the house. It filled the house. It filled the house. So the, there is always a difference when, there is, when, we are, when you are under the influence of the Spirit. Also, another place where the Spirit of God made a difference was in Revelation. In the book, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to prove to you to, to, to without any doubt, go back home tonight. And begin to just, just pray in tongues, blast in tongues over that situation, over that circumstance. Just blast in tongues, blast in tongues. Just, just <coughs> in Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. The Bible says, After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet, talking with me, which said, Come up, Peter, and I will show you the things which must be here after. Verse 2. It says, and immediately I was in the spirit. Immediately I was in the spirit. The, 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 the longing of John was, was a deeper walk. The Bible says that a vision came to him. And in that vision, the Bible says, come up Peter. I will show you the things which must be here after. And the Bible says, immediately I was in the spirit. No wonder this man began to see a lot of things that looked as mystery to us. No longer this same man was the man that that that, that he, he was. He, he looked as if he was so weird 
that he was on the island all by himself. He was on exile on an island. He, 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 he came up here. He was, he was so full of God and of a deeper dimension of God that he, he, he had to be exiled. So I don't know if your craving is a deeper dimension. If your craving is a higher walk with God or a closer walk with God, what you need to do tonight is to keep yourself edified, to keep yourself built up, to build up your spirit so that you can come up here, so that you can change levels in the spirit, so that you can change operations in the spirit. All these examples about the influence of the spirit is not just Bible examples. It still happens today. It still happens today. The Bible says in Acts chapter 17, verse 28, it says, For him, for in him we live. So whether you are born again, whether you are a believer, the Bible says, For in him we live. The Bible says, and move and have our very being. And have our very being. And certain for in him we live and move and have our very being so we are still experiencing that difference today that difference of the spirit that difference when you come about and define yourself when the move of the spirit comes upon you still happens today the bible says for in him we live we exist in him we move in him in him we have our very being our existence is of him so tonight i want us to quickly look at also, importance of edifying yourself. The importance of edifying yourself. The first point I have here tonight is when you edify yourself, you receive revelation. You receive answers from God. Answers from God. In Isaiah chapter 28, verse 11, the Bible says, From which stammering leaves and another tongue will he speak to these people. So I don't, I, I, by adventure, you, you are in a, in, a, in a position of discomfort. You are in a position where you don't know what to do. The Bible says, for with stammering lips, with stammering lips, and another tongue. With, this, was, this was the prophet Isaiah prophesying about the outpouring of the Spirit. And he was saying that one of the ways that God will give us answers, one of the ways that God will reveal himself to us is with what? With stammering lips and another tongue. With stammering lips and another tongue. So tonight you need answers from God. You need to know why some particular things are happening, what you need to do. Is to praise the spirit. The Bible says in Jeremiah 3, verse 3, it says, Call unto me and will you and show you great and mighty things which you know it not of. So God wants to reveal to us great and mighty things. God wants to show us those things that are in the dark. God wants to show us those things that are mysteries. And one of the ways that mysteries have been unfolded or mysteries have been unveiled is by building up yourself, by defining yourself, by praying in the spirit. What's another importance of a define yourself? Another importance of a define yourself is when you edify yourself, you are refreshed. You, 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 you when you want to, when you want to stay refreshed. One of the ways to stay refreshed is to edify yourself. The Bible says in verse 12 of that, Isaiah chapter 28, it says, To whom he said, This is the rest, wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. So God is saying, Peradventure, you feel that the whole burden of the world is upon you. Peradventure, you feel that the whole burden of your family, a lot of burden at work, a lot of burden from um, the news. So, a, a, a lot of things are just getting to you. One of the ways to stay refreshed is to edify yourself. Edify yourself. Edify yourself. Edify yourself. The Bible says that when the Holy Spirit came on that day of Pentecost, <laughs> one of the things they were saying about the apostles, about the disciples, that these ones are full of new wine. They are drunk. Why? Because he looked as if, how would somebody be speaking in a language that is not, 
a language that is not um, that is not that, that doesn't seem as normal or doesn't or that doesn't seem as <laughs> that doesn't seem as the natural language and the, the person just all of a sudden bursts into laughter. But you know what? Those are part of the expressions when you edify yourself in the spirit. At a particular time, you 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 begin to pray the Holy Ghost and you just burst into laughter. You just burst into laughter. You just burst into laughter. You, you, you went in there with some heaviness, and at a particular point where it seems as if the, the, the whole thing was, was getting to you and you started to build up yourself, you just you, you just burst into laughter. You know, the Bible says in Job chapter 5, verse 22, the Bible says, At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. So, I, 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 I know for some people tonight, as you begin to edify yourself and pray in the Spirit, you are just going to burst into laughter. Because why? The matter will be settled. The Bible says, this was Job talking. It says, a destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. It says, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. So, for someone tonight, <laughs> they, they, they tell you that your landlord has given you quick notice. Don't worry, you don't burst into laughter. <laughs> go into the go into your closet and begin to edify yourself. And all of a sudden you are going to burst into laughter. <laughs> they tell you that your 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 salary this month, they can't pay it because the economy was the, the business was not so good. And you just burst into laughter. <laughs> you just you just burst into laughter. You just burst into laughter. So one of the ways to keep yourself refreshed is praying in the Holy Ghost, edifying yourself. Another importance of edifying yourself is to remain fruitful. To remain fruitful. If you want to remain fruitful, fruitful of ideas, fruitful at your workplace, one of the best ways to do that is to edify yourself. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 15. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 32, verse 15, it says, until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and the wilderness look at it nothing grows in the wilderness nothing happens in the wilderness the bible says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and the wilderness be a fruitful field so those things that looked at that place where it says as if nothing could grow, that place where it looked as if nothing could happen, the Bible says, until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, the wilderness does what? It becomes a fruitful field. So they feel that, ah, hey, man of God, we told you that the term has started. They are already asking for school fees, and you are telling us you want to pray. Ah. <laughs> you, you, you are standing on a scripture that until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and that place where it seems as if nothing was happening, it becomes a fruitful field. But the Bible does not say it doesn't leave it as a fruitful field. The Bible says and the fruitful field be counted for a forest. So that thing where it seems as if just a portion, a stream of income was coming, the Bible says up from that one stream of income, I will now make more avenues where income, where resources, where supplies will begin to come from. Why? Because that wilderness was turned to a fruitful field and the fruitful field was counted as a forest. Why? Until the spirit be poured upon us from on high. And I know that this is someone's this is someone's own today. For adventure, you are at the level of the wilderness where since nothing is growing, nothing is happening. The Bible says, until the spirit be poured upon us from on high, and the wilderness become a fruitful field, then the fruitful field be counted for a forest. I need you to stand on this scripture that Father, my wilderness will become a fruitful field tonight. My wilderness will become a fruitful field tonight. As I edify myself, I stand on your word. My wilderness will become a fruitful field. And for example, it seems as if uh, that one stream of income, that one stream of supply is not enough. Those two streams of supply is not enough. The Bible says that fruitful field will now be counted for a forest. 
there will not be major avenues where surprise will be coming from. There will not be major avenues where people will be locating you from, where people will be looking for you from. We'll be looking for your services. We'll be looking for your business. Why? Because the fruitful field has been counted as a forest. Very quickly, why is it important to also edify yourself? It is important to edify yourself so that you can resist the devil. Is someone with me tonight? It is important to edify yourself so that you can also resist the devil. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Verse 11. He says, put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You want to be able to resist the devil. One thing you need to continually do is to keep yourself edified. The Bible says a broken spirit who can bear. A broken spirit who can bear. So far your spirit is edified, it is much more easier to resist the devil. But the Bible says, a broken spirit, who can bear? So it says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, the devices of the devil, the tricks of the devil. A weak spirit cannot stand against the devices and tricks of the devil. Listen to me. A spirit that is weak, a spirit that is not sensitive cannot stand against the tricks of the devil. Your spirit needs to be edified. Your spirit needs to be edified. Your spirit needs to be edified. Now look at verse 12. It's faith for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Can you see why you need your spirit to be edified? Because what you are wrestling against is not that your boss at work. Who your spirit is up against is not that your landlord. It's not that your mother-in-law. The Bible says we wrestle against, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now look at verse 18 of that Ephesians chapter 6. He now says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Praying always with all manner of prayer and supplication in the spirit. So someone tonight, you are going to lose your manners. Listen to me. You are going to lose your manners in the spirit because the Bible says we wrestle not. So, for adventure, you think it is your boss that doesn't like you that is behind your promotion. Tonight, our wrestling is not because of that our boss. We are doing what? We are taking control, building up ourselves, and defying ourselves so we can resist the devil. So we can resist the devil. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lastly, tonight, before we begin to pray, one of the importance of also edifying yourself is to build up yourself. Is to what? Build up yourself. I kept this for the last because it is the most common that we usually talk about. The Bible says in Jude chapter 20, But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Building up yourself on your most holy faith. One of the ways you can stand and stand firm as a Christian. Stand without being, without, without, without being um, going back into the world. Without being backsliding. Without falling into sin. The Bible says, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Doing what? Praying in the Holy Ghost. The way we can continue to build upon our faith, line upon line, precept upon precept, making ourselves more relevant, making ourselves more acceptable to God, yielding ourselves to God. The Bible says one of the best ways to do it is to do what? Is to pray in the Holy Ghost. So tonight, wherever you are, 
wherever you are coming from, wherever you are listening from, wherever you are tonight, can you just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? Can you just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? Can you just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? Can you just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? One of the ways you can build your spiritual capacity is to do what? To pray in the Holy Ghost. The Paul was saying, I will come into visions and revelations of the Lord. One of the ways he could boldly say that was because the, he, he continually kept on praying in the Holy Ghost. Can you pray in the Holy Ghost tonight? Man kare gezuto zakataya ereku zekile garugo delege ragadara ega lo brogo zuto zekete eriba lo zozo koriba legere ragadara erago zuzu kaliga legedegere edify yourself tonight. Marika zuto rekete eke rega do rodozo korebe le balaba erando sketi labro orogo do libre gedegere eragu zekire gadale gorogo do gudo orabe beli gere gedo rogo do korebe le balaba orebe be 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 le borodo eraba ba 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 rekete le borodo de de le bari anana de e prakoso to rogo do regede bolo go regede gere gere e regede borogo lo go rogo do go regede gele de be de balaba e prakoso to zo to zo to rekete le be le be le be pray in the holy ghost tonight man prokoso to zegere e rabolo go rodo zekele bragade le prokoso to rebebele bele gele gele borogoso to repakata la beregedo regedia e ramolo go regede be regede para adventure you are anxious para adventure you are worried para adventure your spirit is downcast tonight you can edify yourself pray in the holy ghost marima le geregede go rokoso to zekere the Bible says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, hey, he edifies himself. Oh, edify yourself tonight. Edify yourself tonight. Edify yourself tonight. Marika tolo kore kete legede. E kata borogozoto rebele bele 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 e rebele bele 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 pastor nothing has been working nothing has been happening oh i have submitted applications upon application oh my business nobody is patronizing me oh oh my place of work i have not gotten any promotion all my colleagues have gotten promotion this year the bible says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high that the wilderness oh become a fruitful field and the fruitful field be counted for a for so I don't know. It seems as if your situation is a wilderness tonight. That wilderness must become a fruitful field. Why? How? The Spirit must be poured upon us from on high. Rekete le brogozoto, ripa kata le brogozoto regede, ereko de riba le goro dozoko regede. Imali brako zoto repile brakadose eke rebe korono logorobo le geregede e rababele borogo zoto e rababalo ke rege do rogo zoto re balabali e repedele gorogo do gorogo do o rabale bere de bele gadia e prako zoto seke de bele de e rebele bere 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 bolodo dia e gare bolodo bere bere de bere de bakoro do zoko regede de bere gede Golo do boro bole bele de bele de e bara boso koro do gore bele de be e re bolo do bole de mosia marege de boro do koro do bole de de goro bosi kala bala bala ba e bremo zo koro ko zo to zeke de e paro do goro ko zo koro ko lo ko do pre 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 e re bele boro do 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 e pari pali karege de koro ko zo to zakata e karu kadi kele e koro ko zo koro ko do E ba 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 ba, e beleke de leke de, uru du 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 bi, e bi 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 bi, e ba ra ba li bu du du, ja preke te le bere de, e ba ba la ba li bu du du dia, kolo du bere ke de de bere ke de de, ra ba ba le preke de beleke de, e ba ko du seke de, e ba ba la ba li bu du du dia, ra po seke te le beleke de, kolo du bere ke de, e ba ro ko zoto zoko to, para adventure you are here tonight, and you do not pray in the Holy Ghost, you have not been baptized in the Holy. Spirit, just release yourself tonight. Oh, rapali ke rege zutu zakata, e raku ze kele ko rogo zotolo baragada, e ragade ke rege do rogo do. The Bible says, and this sign shall follow. This sign shall follow. Those that believe, are you a believer? Do you believe you can pray in the Holy Ghost tonight? Rani ke logo rogo zotu zakata, e rege do logo rogo zotu regede. 
Embala gadu regede, e pregede le kurugu zoto, repata la pregede burugodia, rebebebebebebebebebebe, i bale brugu zoto zegede, rapoto zoto zegede, i rabale brugu zoto zegede beregede, e regedu rugu zoto gurebeleve, i raburu guzoto zepele braduza, e regedu lugu rugu zoto zoto, otras, otras, otras. The Bible says, oh, marima lugu rugu rugu rugu, Jesus is the baptizer, oh, he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Merege lo goro do goro goro. Golo do merege de de. Is the prayer? Is the fire on your prayer altar low tonight? Oh, does it look as if it has gone cold? Does it seem as if it is not even burning at all? You can pray. You can pray. You can pray. You can fan. You can fan it. You can fan it. You can fan it. Oh, run or go do goro 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 goro. Fan the flame. Fan the flame. Marika zutu raketele. Erika zuzu kariale barada. Oroko soto zete, e prako zete le bragade, e rebolo doro de lebere de boroko soto, rebele broko soto zatali bragade, e rebolo guru 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 guru, e ribala bala bala gade, e bara bala bala bolo dia, raprak atale bragade, e rebada bari bolo dia, regede le guru guru soto regede, e regedu raba baba baba i, guru de bele de bere dia, e riba baba 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 i, e mregede bere de bere de, e ra Rababa la burudu de dia, jambu dudu de bede de bede de bede de. Rababa le brega de burugu do, erega de le burugu do burugu de gidi, burugu de bede de bede de gidi. Rambo lo de bede de bede de bede de, repekete le burugu do, repekete le brega da, rebo do 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 de dia, iraba la bari burugu dia, iraba la bari de bede de burugu dia. Rambo zozo gede, zeke rebo lo gede gadiya, raga de gerega do burugu do reba la ba la ba, erega da rebo do. Do de re ya la ba re 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 ge de buru gulu 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 Zoko tole bregede, e bragade brugu zoto, e rebele bele bele bele, is your own a deeper walk, is your own a deeper walk, a higher walk with him, tonight, 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 as you pray, as you pray, as you edify yourself, the Bible says, as we behold him, we are changed into the same image, from glory to glory, oh, ragede gorogo zoto regede, I am tired of being stuck on this same spiritual level, oh, rogo zoto regelika regede, oh, rap, Prakatale, Mbore Baladaba, Reprecoto Zeteria, Repraco Zoto Ribaleda, E Pregude Brigade Le Brago Zoto Zekate, E Prekezuzu Catele Brugozoto Regede, E Rede de Rodo do 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 do, O Rege de Rege de Bolo do Belegede. Oh, rogo do le bele de, e re bo 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 re de, e bele bele de bele de bele de. Are you a businessman here? People just pass by your place of business. Nobody stops to buy for some few days. Nobody has been buying. There has been no sales. The sales have just been coming. Have just been coming in in trickles. To the Bible says, as Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Bible says, the eyes of all those that were there that day were fasting upon him. As you pray in the spirit tonight, customers begin to fasten their eyes on your business. Marika Zutu Regele Goroguru, as you edify yourself tonight, people begin to take note of your business. Marika Zutu Regele Ekerugu Zagada Ekaruge de Legedo Oh, Ragada Regede Ngedele O golo godo rapate lebregede e brugo zoto zozia reketo logeregede for in Jesus name we are prayed amen amen praise god hallelujah praise god glory to god glory to god glory to god father we thank you for yet another service today we give you praise we give you glory we honor your name thank you father for your word that has been spoken tonight we declare oh god it will find a resting place in the heart of your people we declare oh god that you will reawaken every dry spiritual life tonight. Every dry prayer altar you will reawaken tonight. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you all for coming out tonight to sit at the feet of Jesus. I hope you have been greatly blessed tonight. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Um, let's take this word back into our prayer closet and into our study. And um, let it challenge us to be able to pray more and to get a closer walk with Jesus. Praise God. Okay, um, join us again tomorrow morning, 6.30 a.m., as we meet on Mixel Hour for our early morning prayers. 
So please join us on Mixed Out tomorrow by 6.30 a.m. Also on Friday, we're going to be having our prayer meetings. Um, so also join us as well on MixLR on YouTube as well for our prayer meetings um, 6 p.m. on Friday. God bless you all. Thanks for coming to coming out tonight. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. Rest in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>